Greetings my friends, I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm just a normal guy who's doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. Why? <laughs> okay my friends, welcome back. It's Monday, um, the I don't know what of February I think it is. Um, and you know, again, I think my friend was saying I should be more concise in knowing the days and the times. Again, I don't know, my mind's just all over the place a lot of the times, which again, you know, might, you might think, well, if you're going to be this memory man, no, no, it's just, this is the thing as well, I just learn techniques. So I'm learning how to memorise 10,000 digits to pi, and um, yeah, I don't have to be thinking the memory stuff all the time, or remembering everything. In fact, unless you actually pay attention, attention's one of the biggest things, if you don't pay attention to something, you really can't memorise it, because we're not just these people that... You know, unless you've got a eidetic, eidetic memory, photographic memory, um, then you know which again we don't even know if they're real. Although some people will probably appear to come quite close to it. That would be pretty nice to be honest. Um, maybe. Uh, okay, all right. I'm going to I was about to go and start talking about different stories there, but <laughs> let's just get on with this. Um, so yeah, so it's day. 26, which means it's 2,501 to 2,600. So we're past the quarter mark, which is good. Um, news on the forearms. Again, if you've watched any of these things, I've been about three weeks ago, I'd injured my forearms and they just weren't getting any better at all. They were kind of like bothering us in the middle of the night and they're just strained and I've been stretching and everything. And I didn't know really what the problem was, but I think I've finally sussed out what the problem was and it's something called golfer's elbow um, you know I've had tennis elbow before I haven't had golfer's elbow before and I've played golf for many years but again it can it can affect uh, people obviously doing weight training or doing things that are going to strain you so it's literally and it makes a lot of sense because it was this this kind of muscle on the bottom here that was how I'm getting a lot of pain it's connected there's a big cluster that's probably what that is a cluster of nerves and tendons and things that kind of go into the elbow here um, and obviously they've been uh, irritated or slightly I don't know if torn might be the correct I don't know really, I don't really know I don't know what's going on there but that's the kind of that makes sense and that's the cause all the symptoms are pointing to that so I've watched um, a couple of physio things uh, Bob and Brad the most famous uh, physios on the internet so they give us this thing where literally I'm just getting my fingers I'm going in into the area you know for about up to 15 minutes a day so i do it five minute stretches get right in there and then both sides because this one's worse than this one and then there's exercises that i do that just involve like lifting like supporting the forearm and lifting some weights up and then using a pole with weight on so i can rotate so i'm kind of and you know so that's all i'm doing and i'll be honest the pain is still there slightly but it's dulled a bit and I, you know it's like that pain that feels like things are starting to mend the sharpness doesn't seem to be there as much. So hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I can continue forward and then heal as I'm going. And it's lessons learned again about preparing myself, warming up properly, stretching, and doing these things which are going to, um, you know, give uh, you know a good solid body and foundation to continue and do these challenges. Right, let's crack straight on with it, my friends. I am going to rattle through, so I'm going to do the full 50, um, and then I'll chat about it for just. A couple of minutes and I'll get the rest and we'll just get through it. So much to do today. Okay, let's begin. Oh, just uh, ease in a bit for the first few. You know, I can I feel that stretch. Uh, okay, right, so uh, one, five, zero, seven, six, zero, six, nine, four, seven, ow. <laughs> Bash me head off there. Okay, right. Uh, one five zero seven six and zero six nine four seven. Right. Let's put the pen here. Stay. There. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get on with it. Nine four five one zero nine six. Five, nine, six. If I'm not going quite up today, like uh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get my chin up there. If I'm not fully giving it, then again, it's just 
I think I am, but I'm, again, I'm, I've got to be, got to be, got to be safe, my friend, safe. Okay, nine four, uh, five one, um, zero, and nine six, um, five nine, six. I know you you won't be able to see this from here, but when I've finished, I bring the board forward, and then you can have a look and see if I've if I'm right. <laughs> Okay, right. Whew, man, <laughs> what a breath, what is going on? Whew. F zero, <laughs> nine, um, four, <sighs> zero, two, <sighs> two, eight. Um, so I'm just confusing myself, myself here. So that was that was meant to be five, two, then two, eight. Eight. Whew, sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't. That was my fault. When I was talking about attention, I think to get it in my head, and I just wasn't. I jumped up there without having the clarity of the numbers. So, anyhow. Um, so I said zero nine four zero two. Then it's five two. I think I said two eight five two two eight eight. And that's actually a common thing. Um, you know where you. You um, ch change the numbers. I was trying to say something a bit more, not complicated, but that made a bit more sense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a common thing that is um, until you, you really get them embedded in there. Okay, so now, again, this is just to be, be telling you. So I'm like, okay, I get the location, which is actually on this first one. It's just a for sale sign. Then when I give you these five digits, I jump over the road on this grass area where I'll give you the next five. Um, so that's that's what's going on in my head. Uh, okay, right. Seven, nine, seven, one, zero, eight, nine, three, one, four. There you go, you see I had the I already had the digits in my head, even though they're all in there, but like you're saying, I just brought them to the surface a bit more. Uh, seven, oops, seven, seven, nine, change that one, seven, nine, seven, one, zero, eight, nine, three, one, four. Okay, I'm still not gonna do the forward one like this, because again, I feel like it's gonna put too much strain only four I think I'm actually going to go back to just that middle one again because it's quite comfortable. Right. Five, six, six, nine, one, three, six, eight, six, seven. Right. Um, five, six, Six, oops, six, nine, um, one, three, six, eight, six, uh, seven. There you go, right. Let's see how we've got them right. Then we're gonna spend just a couple of minutes uh, talking through a few things. But like I said, I've said this so many times before my previous ones that if anyone's watching this, <laughs> uh, then yeah, I'm just kind of repeating myself. but. I'll go through a few things. Why not? We're, we're both here. <laughs> well, both here, there's probably only two if I'm lucky. <laughs> that seems to be right. Yeah, so, uh, so what, how did I create this? Um, again, it's a journey method. So I've created a journey in my mind. And then, but you've got things to, you've got to place things, oh, spit in there, I apologize. You've got to place things on the locations. So how do I turn the numbers uh, how do I remember these numbers? And I turn them into characters. So every set of numbers here, the two digits, has been there. Um, I've turned into characters. Um, and so zero is the letter O, one is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, five is E, six is S, seven is G, eight is H, and N is nine. So then I compile them together. So this one here, so it's A and E. So it's like Albert Einstein. In this one, I don't actually use that. I'm just using 07. So in my mind, it's close enough to double 07. 
So that's James Bond. And then six is either number rhyme or number shape system. Because I can't make the characters out of that because it's only a single digit. So six can be sticks or flicks or I don't know what else rhymes with six. Um, be licks. <laughs> or it can be, it looks like a golf club or uh, so maybe just any. It doesn't have to exactly be a golf club. I mean, just a sports instrument, equipment, something like that. Um, but yeah, so then, so Albert Einstein is doing the action of James Bond. So he's kind of like, he's either maybe got the gun here, you've maybe got the circle, you've got the, maybe you've got the music playing in your head going do 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 do, or maybe you don't have him with a gun, maybe you've just got him drinking a martini or driving his, um, that's what I say Ferrari, it's not a Ferrari, it's the other one. Can't think of it right now, I apologise. Um, Aston Martin, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, so, and then I just place them on the spot, have them interacting with each other, make them as, um, I don't know why I'm off to the side like this, make them as, um, as memorable as possible, as, as magnetic as possible, as Anthony Mativia talks about. Um, exaggerate the sizes, it's your imagination. What I'm finding, I find the hardest is actually to let the mind go really, and let things exaggerate beyond, it doesn't matter how stupid or ridiculous they are, if they stick, they stick, and you wanna make them so toy around, don't, don't limit yourself to what these confines to this stiff thing. Try and keep some movement, smells, and things oozing out of people. Or you know, you can have people diving into people and come out the other side. You can literally, I think this is the thing that I'm learning as well. Is just trying to let that go. So I'm going to be experimenting with that. And then the more like creative, memorable it is probably the easier it is to remember. Okay, right. Let's go next. Um, Next set, let me have a look where I am. Okay, so right now I know the next station. Just get it clear. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, so there we go. Ooh, two, <laughs> two, eight, seven, four, eight, nine, four, zero, five. I think I, I think I give myself too long. Um, you know, I should have kept kept going while it was still kind of warmed up, you know. But uh, anyhow, it's so two, two, eight, seven, four, and eight, nine, four, zero, uh, five. Okay, right. Shake it off. Um, I should have mentioned this early on, but if, when you're doing pull-ups, don't just jump up like this with your arms. Kind of go along to the side. It sets the the scapula. If you go that way, it kind of restricts. It does for me there. Go to the side, and you kind of yeah, you've got the freedom. Freedom. Uh, right. Where am I? I'll say where am I? <laughs> Six, zero, one, zero, one, five, zero, three, three, zero. <sighs> I'm just uh, not nervous, that's not, not the right word, but I'm tentative, you know, I'm just, because I feel like it's starting to heal, so, uh, okay, 60101, uh, 50330, uh, uh, actually I don't think, I, I'll go through a couple of who the characters are, uh, in, uh, after I finish these ones, <sighs> okay, oh man, why? <laughs> Uh, okay, that's one, two, three, four, okay. In the middle set there. Um, two, sorry. Okay, wait, no, that was wrong. Eight, six, one, seven, nine, two, eight, six, eight, zero. Okay. Yeah, jumped to Heather Station there. Um, missed out this one, which is Han Solo. And actually, <laughs> actually playing with, playing with, uh, lightsabers because that is um, Alec Guinness, who's Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original films. So that's, that works out quite well. <laughs> and uh, they just, they kind of try to chop a big balloon up, which is what nine is. Uh, two eight, Benny Hill is getting out of submersion chamber which is Sherlock Holmes. 
Put and he's uh, playing with a hula hoop. Uh, you know, because it's like looks like it's you. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, we've got four left. Right, just got to take it easy here, my friends. You know, just uh, I do not want to fail at this challenge, so it's important that my arms don't explode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy laugh. Okay, uh, here we go. Nine, two, zero, eight, seven, four, seven, six, zero, nine. Okay. Nine, two, zero, eight, seven. And four seven, um, six zero nine. Okay, two left. Just gonna come back in. I'll go to the middle ones. Okay, last two, my friends. Anyways, one seven eight two four nine three. Eight, five, eight. Whew. I'm just going to check the back of this camera just to see if it's still on. Yeah, it was. Uh, I just didn't put a full battery in there. Oh, the other one's charged now, typical. But uh, just want to make sure it's still running. <laughs> um, okay, uh, what I say? I said one seven, eight two. Eight and nine three eight five eight. Okay, so look. Uh, okay, just going along them. See, is anything wrong? This appears to be. Um, but that's it. Okay, actually, I did. I did get one wrong. Although I knew, anyway, that's a, I put eight there and it's a four. Um, so I know it's a four, <laughs> but I was thinking eight. I think my, my mind was maybe just jumping ahead. Again, that's not, it's just actually, I think that's the first digit I've actually got wrong. I've got, uh, but just as when I say, it was just a, a, a misslip of my, uh, you know, of my words there. So. Anyhow, there you go. With the uh, with the slight error in there, but again, it's good to it's good to have that. I can't. It'd be hard to go through the full the full ten thousand without making a slight error like that. So, but wasn't any major disasters, my friends. And again, it was just um, yeah. Again, that shows that that's the attention because I was thinking ahead to do one that, and obviously just said it, but. Is what it is. It's, like I said, these things are good to show that uh, I'm flawed, a flawed individual. Why? <laughs> okay, uh, well, my friends, look, I'm gonna head off uh, now. Well, I'm gonna actually stay here, so I'm just gonna turn the video off. I've got much to do, much to do, my friends. It's all, uh, you know, trying to, trying to build this art business. I'm learning so much, or oh, I'm getting access to so much information of what to do, and it's just trying to implementing this thing trying to find the right people trying to learn the right software and not learn the software use the right software and it's it's all it's all flooding in i just my mind just needs to kind of sort it all out put it in some order and let these things let these things flow it's all good though okay my friends i'll see you tomorrow for another uh, pull ups to pie uh, day uh, 27 yeah okay have a good day bye bye Finish. Hey, I'm still with you guys, don't worry. It's all good. I don't know why I'm, I'm saying never delete. I don't know. There's gonna be like a hundred videos on there. <laughs> is it the right thing? I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is, my friends. It's just, uh, it's crazy. So, so yeah. Um, so, you know, I hope, I, I can't say anyone's enjoying these things. I, I wish I knew a better way to do it. My me, me friends was, uh, was saying that we had a bit of a, a study group the other day just talking about art and things and all the things I'm doing wrong, all the cringy things I might be doing. Again, to be honest, this, these things don't
bother me personally, but I want to try and make the, uh, the viewer experience, um, you know, fun and engaging and things. It's all, it's all part of the show, <laughs> the show. Uh, but you know, and I'm just looking for. Like, we're just getting started. It's just like I'm not going for the uh, the Spielberg kind of movie cinematic thing to start with, but. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't love to do that or give you these things. Is it necessary? I don't know, but it still might be good to chuck these things in there. And I'm, my mind's always thinking about what I can do. Little fun activities or, I don't, not Easter eggs, maybe that's what they call little things to go in there. And you'll, these things will be coming in the future. Don't you worry about that. I'll be, I'll be trying and testing and just seeing how much fun we can have while we're basically painting a lot, doing some physical challenges and other things that I'm doing, you know? so. So it's all good. It's um, you know, so bear with me. And again, I know these things. It's just me and the camera being a bit silly. Uh, but everything I want, everything I want to do, wrapped in the silliness and stupidity. Sometimes, you know, there's a there's a deeper meaning to it. But this is how I put it across. You know, um, but I want to give the best quality of things. I don't know how to do that yet. But I want to be. I want to try and break these things down and. Be useful and helpful in a way that you know you can get or put things across in many different ways to say to hopefully some of them will resonate and help you out and again I understand that just doing this pie thing you might wonder what it's for but it has like I said deeper implications for me about how it can filter through into other parts of your life and that so uh, again just an example we're just taking the brain to the gym each day yeah we think and we do things and I don't know what your job is I mean maybe it is this thing where you you know, it's pushing you and you're learning and, and things like that, but a lot of people are maybe a bit more sedate with the mind. And I think doing this type of thing can help it, you know? And again, just keep pushing it and pushing it and then just like, let's strengthen this muscle. And it's, it'll be really useful as well, these these things. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the applications will be to, and how far I can use these. I keep seeing people again who take these things to other levels. And I'm like, I'm just scratching the surface of these. So if I can, the more, I learn the more helpful I can be. That's all the better. The same with the art this morning. I was like, I've been painting for like six hours. And I'm like, God, oh my God. It's like, I've been doing it for years. And it's still this, this conundrum, this problem to solve. And I just can't wait to kind of crack it a bit more so I can just be, again, just really useful uh, to try and pass things across and like, okay, right, this is how you do it. Do it this way. Again, so this is not how you do it. This is how I do it. Hopefully, you can try all these different ways and see what, what what resonates with you the best because that's what I want to try try and do and simplify. Um, anyhow, this is an ongoing thing, my friends, and I shall see you tomorrow for day twenty-seven. Have a good day, my friends. Pull up the pie. Keep them guns going. <laughs>